Hi, this is Ye from Web Hosting Break. Now, we get a lot of questions from budding artists and photographers regarding a WordPress theme that could also work as a good online portfolio. So today I'm going to review Modularity Lite, which claims to be a great free thing to display all your photos or images. Now Modularity, as you can see, um, it's a very dark theme with a hint of grunge texture in the background that's kind of barely detectable. I'm a fan of the dark background as it really brings out the vibrant colours of your images. There's also the option to change the background colour or image if you wish to lighten it up a bit. Same goes for the header where you can upload a custom image. Now, as you can see, I've uploaded my own image header, which is this one here, and this can be changed or removed from the back end under header. So let's just take a look. Um, so under appearances, if you go to, so background is where you can change the custom background color, and header is where I have this image so far. So let's take a look to see what it looks like without the header. So remove header image. Save changes, and let's just refresh this. Okay, so this is what it looks like without the header. Um, so modularity can be a two-column theme or a one-column layout if you wish to display larger images. The layout can be changed quickly and easily through the back end under theme options. So currently my blog is supporting a right-hand sidebar, as you can see here. Now to get rid of it, we simply go into theme options, so in the back end, theme options, and we simply untick the sidebar. Here we go. So let's save this and to see what it looks like. Okay, I'm just going to upload my blog again. So there you go, this is just the um, one column layout. So you can see that this gives you plenty of more space and uh, the one column layout definitely gives it a more portfolio feel if you have a lot of images. Now if you like your widgets but want to get rid of the sidebar, you can still display them in the generous four column footer area. So if we just scroll down here, here's the four column footer area. So as usual, all your widgets are managed under the widgets in your dashboard, which is here. Um, so currently you're probably thinking that modularity is more of a blog than a standout portfolio theme. Well, this is where the built-in slideshow feature comes in. If you enable this in the back end under theme options, so if we go here, and then tick slideshow, save it. Okay, what you're about to see will be a rotating slideshow widget will be embedded on your homepage. So let's just refresh the homepage again. And if you just scroll up, okay, here's the rotating slideshow. Now, you will have to be mindful that the images will be presented quite large at 950 by 425 pixels to be exact. You can't change this setting, so if you have smaller images, they will be stretched to this size and might look a bit pixelated as well. Now, the widgets will display all the featured images in your post, so not all the images you feature in your article post will be displayed above here. So setting a featured image is quite easy and it's done through each post. So let's take a look um, at one of the posts I've done. Um, so let's go to post and let's tick on food in Tokyo, for example. So what happens is once you've uploaded all your images, you can simply uh, click on use as featured image, which is here. But another back end is it will actually take you um, to this pop up box. Okay, so if you go into gallery, here are all the, um, I guess, the images you've uh, uploaded for the post. And you simply, let's say we wanted to use um, the sushi image as our featured image. Scroll down and simply next to insert into post is use as featured image. So we click on that and that's done. So it's quite easy. So if we exit this, you can see at the bottom that that will be the featured image. And that sushi photo would actually be displayed in the slideshow now. Okay, um, so along with the enabling the sidebar and slideshow, you can also include a welcome message that sits above your post and the slideshow, which is here. And again, this can be a short message about anything really. And if you're lost for words, then simply leave the text box areas blank. So this is done through the back end under theme options again. 
So welcome message title, welcome message content. So if you don't like it, simply delete it and leave it blank. And let's take a look to see what it looks like. So it gives it, I guess, without the custom heading and without, I guess, the message as well, it is quite neat and much more tidier and cleaner as well. Um, so unlike other WordPress portfolio themes where you can only display images, Modularity does provide you with enough space for text as well. Uh, the text might be a bit smaller and harder to read, but you have to keep in mind that the nature of this theme is a portfolio, so the focus is on your photos uh, rather than the words. Now I have to say the only downside will be that the article post information is rather compact and small. In fact, it's really tiny just over here. Okay, um, the comment area is tidy and neat as well. So if I just click into a post, you can see um, the comment area. Um, but the cascading effect isn't so prominent, so it's hard to see uh, replies and conversation. It actually just looks like one um, big comment list. So um, now, the best thing about Modularity Lite is that they do have a demo page here, which you can go in by going into modularitylightdemo.wordpress.com and I find that the best way to utilize this theme and make your blog look good is to adopt the similar layout on the demo page. So if I just quickly scroll in the demo page as you can see they have um, I guess a bit about the uh, you know a bit of words about the article and a small image as well. Um, now this is actually recreating this look is easy and we'll just need to, uh, to tweak your individual posts a little bit. So let's do this now. Let's say um, again, let's look at food in Tokyo. So let's go into the back end, go into posts and we're just going to bring this up. Okay, so currently um, if I just go into the home page. So this is what it looks like home uh, for food in Tokyo or my articles. Uh, it is a little bit messy. It doesn't quite look like the demo page, which is what we're trying to achieve. So let's go to the post and what we need to do is um, maybe around um, the 50 words mark, so maybe around here, we're going to um, insert the more tag, which can be found here. So if I hover over it, it's insert more tag, which is Alt Shift T, put that in and this little thing will come up. And then for the image, we simply click at the start of the post. Okay, um, let's bring up the gallery again. And let's say we wanted um, the sushi image again. Okay, and we're going to make it, um, let's say, medium size. And we're going to have a, the alignment on the right. Now you can have it on the left as well. Okay, so insert into post. Okay, let's update this, let it load, slowly updating, okay great. Now let's go to the home page again, let's refresh, so hopefully it will look a lot neater. So there you go, this is food in Tokyo. Um, again, um, Modulatory Light Demo is utilizing uh, the two column rather than one column, so you can easily tweak that as well. Now, I have to say overall, Modularity is a good portfolio theme if you wish to include a mixture of images and text. The rotating slideshow is definitely a real kicker for this theme, uh, especially if you have larger photos to display. Now, again, I want you to go and test this theme out and uh, let us know what you think. So if you have any comments, feedback or other themes you want us to review, then let us know by commenting below. Cheers.